And I'm Camilla. Hey Camilla, what's your favorite part about Easter? Mine is going Easter egg hunting. But did you know that that's not the actual meaning of Easter? Let's learn what Easter is actually about. Hello Creation Station friends and welcome. I am so happy you're here today. Do you know why? Because today we get to celebrate something really special. Do you know what that is? That is right, today is Easter. And Easter is the story of the most important thing that has ever happened. The happiest thing that has ever happened. And we get to celebrate it here together. Are you ready to learn about it? And then we can talk some more in a little bit. Now everybody let's sit down and let's focus and let's learn about Easter. The story of Easter, Jesus' sacrifice, This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. The Jewish leaders and teachers did not like what Jesus was doing or how he claimed to be the Son of God. And so they made a plan to arrest him to get rid of him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, agreed to betray Jesus ah, come in, come in. and give him over to the religious leaders for some money. Jesus was in a garden praying, and Judas showed the man who Jesus was. Jesus was arrested and taken to the rulers of the land so that they could decide what to do with him. Jesus was presented before the high council, and they asked him if he was the Messiah, the Savior of the Jews. They asked him if he was claiming to be the Son of God. You say that I am. <laughs> And the council was furious, and they shouted that Jesus was guilty, and he deserves to die. So they took Jesus before the Roman ruler Pilate, and he heard the case against Jesus. Pilate didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. Huh, seems okay to me. They found him to be innocent, so Pilate said, that he would punish Jesus and then release him. What? But the crowd kept screaming louder and louder, crucify him, we want him dead. And because of the pressure of the crowd, Pilate turned Jesus over to the Roman soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spit on, his clothes were torn and taken from him, and a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was beaten so badly that he could barely stand on his own, and then he was forced to carry his cross so far up a mountain that he needed help because he could not do it on his own. Once Jesus made it to the place where he would be crucified, called the skull, the soldiers around him nailed him to the cross and waited for him to die. While Jesus was hanging on the cross, many people shouted to him, If you really are the Son of God, save yourself from the cross. But Jesus knew he had to die to forgive his people for their sins. At noon, darkness fell across the whole land. Three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain in the temple that separated the priests from God's holy place tore in two. A soldier watching the whole thing said, This man truly was the Son of God. Then a righteous man named Joseph came and placed Jesus' body in a tomb. Three days passed and it seemed that there was no hope. 
But very early on Sunday morning, the woman who cared for Jesus went to go visit his body and found that his tomb was empty and that he was no longer there. Ah! Don't be afraid, said an angel. He is not here. He is risen. At this, the woman remembered that Jesus had told them that he would rise again on the third day. And ran to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard. Huh? Hey -o. Ah! And then for the next 40 days, Jesus appeared to his disciples and many others and showed them that he was alive and well. <laughs> he taught them that what he did was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Were you paying attention? I hope so, because this is my most favorite story of them all because this is the most important story of them all. It's God's rescue plan. You know, since the beginning of the world, when sin entered the world with Adam and Eve, do you remember that? God had a plan, and His plan was to send a Savior, Jesus, the perfect sacrifice. Because of sin, we were separated from God. And because of Jesus, the one that had never sinned, the one that had never disobeyed, because he died for you and for me, because he loved us so much, now we can have eternal life. That means life forever with God. Because of Jesus, we can have a relationship with God again. Isn't that amazing? You know, I know sometimes on Easter, a lot of people kind of forget about Jesus. A lot of people just think about Easter eggs and Easter bunny and candy and all that stuff. And you know, that's fun. I like doing that too. Actually, we're even going to do a little Easter egg hunt today. But we cannot forget the reason why we celebrate Easter. So today when you go home and you see friends and you see family, I want you to remind them what Easter is all about. Easter is about God's big rescue plan. Easter is about Jesus dying on the cross because he loved us so much so we can have forever life with God. Isn't this so great? Oh guys, this is so big. This is reason to celebrate. That's why we celebrate Easter in such a big way. And I think right now, what we need to do is to sing, is to dance together, is to worship God and say, thank you God so much for sending Jesus, for loving us so much that Jesus died on the cross. Jesus suffered so much for you, for me, and so that we could be together forever with God. How's that? Let's stand up. Let's stand up, let's sing, let's dance, and don't forget, Jesus loves you, and Jesus is alive. All right, guys, let's sing together. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. One, two, three, Jesus is alive.
We're so glad you came to learn with us today. We see you next week. Bye. Bye.